So in 2007 and 2008, we did our first study of immunotherapy, or a way to treat children with severe milk allergy. In that study, we had very good results, and in this one, we followed up on that same group of children who were on continued specific doses of milk over the next one to two years. And what we found in this study is that all of the children continued to increase their tolerance of milk and that most of them had gained very significant tolerance, uh, even able to eat up to 16 ounces of milk, whereas previously they had severe allergies to even a few drops of milk. So we're hopeful that over the next several years, we're going to be able to perfect this treatment in a way that we can uh, treat uh, most, if not all, children with food allergy. This is all very preliminary now, though. The studies are small, they're limited, and we don't think this is something that we're ready to go out to do at home or to take even out into the community allergist. It's something that we're trying to perfect in a way that uh, a real treatment for the first time ever may be available for children with food allergy. So for almost a century now, we've been doing allergy shots for people who have things like pollen allergy or dust allergy. And we learned that trying that same allergy shot model for foods was not possible, not because it couldn't work, but because it was too dangerous. But the same concept is being used here. You're giving gradually increasing doses of what you're allergic to to try to build up the body's tolerance to it and to train the immune system to not react or to truly tolerate what they used to be allergic to. Uh, so forever, for centuries and centuries, the only treatment we had for food allergy was to avoid the food you're allergic to. And for some that may sound easy, but it's really quite hard. Mistakes happen, and some of those mistakes lead to very severe reactions, and there are even deaths from food allergic reactions. So we've been hopeful that at some point we would be able to change that model and have some way to address food allergy in a way that doesn't just avoid what you're allergic to, but actually treats it and either makes it less severe or removes it altogether. And these early studies give us hope that that is indeed a possibility. The time frame is not in the next year or two, it's in the next decade or two, but we really have hope now that food allergy will be a treatable disease in the next 10 or 20 years.